Rest in peace. To FBG Duck. FBG Duck. And I have never talked about this nigga. So I don't, you know, I don't want to seem like a bandwagon nigga or, you know, just because a nigga die, a nigga want to talk about a nigga or whatnot. But on, on, on everything I love, man, out of all the Chicago niggas, I really kind of like um, I kind of like I'm going to say Fredo Santana the most and then I like FBG Duck like was second you feel me and really when Fredo Santana died I, I was fucking with FBG Duck I was fucking with his interviews I saw a couple of his interviews back in the days the Vlad I just felt he was like a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could tell when niggas really is out there doing shit, man. I, I I could look at niggas in videos and I could tell if these niggas is killers right here. I could tell. I could tell. I could tell. I could tell when niggas is killers. I know. And, you know, hey, man, he's a real nigga, man. But, you know, I know. I, like, and then... Niggas had a little style too, big nigga. With style, I always paid attention to that. I like, I like, you know, I always like big niggas with style. I always like big niggas with style. You know what I'm saying? I always like big niggas with style. Um. Then, what else was? It? Oh, and then when I seen him come with the hit, he dropped. He he been putting out music and doing shit and kind of popping. And then he came, he finally had a hit record with Slide. I was I was happy for that nigga when I heard that. When I, it was some gangster shit, though. I was listening to that shit. I was like, damn, nigga, that's some gangster shit. You know what I'm saying? And I be hearing these niggas be having the, these Chicago niggas, man, with these actual, these wars, man. These niggas take music, the music experience to a whole nother dimension. I think they changed. They really changed the music. They made music more. I feel like they really integrated music with reality more. Like more. Like you know, niggas is rapping about murders. You go do the murder and come back and rap about it right now. You know what I'm saying? And niggas, man, it's very. It's amazing, man. It's amazing. And um. I respect the FB. I've been heard FBG Duck talking about I ain't leaving Chicago. I ain't leaving. I ain't scared. I respected that. I respected that too. I respected his. I respected that too. You know. And then, um, y'all gotta check this out. I'm gonna put a link in the um. I'm gonna put a link in the description because he got early interviews with Vlad. I, sh I say y'all should check out his Vlad interviews and then check out his interview interview on Straight Drop with Chella H and um, this other dude, uh, you know, Chella H, one of my favorite Chicago bitches. I fuck with her. She she fuck with us. Chella H um, interviewed this nigga on her podcast. And listen, y'all check that episode out. That's a dope podcast episode that give you good insight into this nigga character even though he was you know wild chicago nigga i feel like that that interview with chella h it give like a dope insight to his character he's you know man it's it's that's 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 a, that's a tragedy to lose that nigga that's an l for chicago you understand me? And I understand that these y'all niggas on a war. Y'all niggas out there warring, don't giving a fuck. You know, niggas dissing this nigga right now. You know, they smoking duck packs out there. Everybody disrespectful like a motherfucker. I get it. Look, <clears throat> y'all took an L. You can smoke a duck pack all you want out there in Chicago, but y'all whole city 
took a L. And they killed the nigga in that. They killed this nigga. Listen to me. Anybody who. This is this is how off the chain Chicago is. If niggas don't know. They killed this nigga. In the equivalent of Rodeo Drive out here. Like that's like being on Rodeo Drive Sunset Boulevard out here. And you get gunned down out here. I don't think niggas have ever done that out here. I don't think niggas ever done that. I think niggas have a I think niggas have a psychological block. But I guess it depend on the type of I I don't know I I guess it depend on the war. I niggas have a psychological block on these areas like you know like when they when they get in you know Rodeo Drive Extreme Money Rodeo Drive you know what I'm saying and 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 you know niggas get a pass until they get back to the where it's wild at. Now Chicago niggas kill a nigga in the in the in the Gold Coast, broad daylight. They supposed to get caught. They supposed to get caught, but the police probably do not give a fuck. The police probably do not give a fuck. And sh- and shout out to Ducks moms, man. I seen his moms do like a little press conference, man. Strong black woman, man. Bless you, uh, FBG Duck Moms. Real one. You, you, real one. You could tell she a real one. They gunned this nigga. And then the video was out there of him dying on the sidewalk, man. That was traumatic to me. I, I watched it. That's, man. I watched the video of Nip do that same thing. Nipsey. I seen the Nipsey videos. FBG Duck, motherfucking extension. Niggas get gunned down, man. And I think FBG Duck got gunned down and had a gun. I think he had a gun on him and was. I think his gun jammed or something. So niggas was ready. You see. That's the thing, man. It's like, um, cause you know, I be thinking about it, man. I be thinking about it, man. Like, if if you on a war status out here, if you on a war status out here with niggas like that, I'm not sure that I would ever walk around with any type of i would be dressed tactical every day i would i would i would be dressed in a tactical manner every day if i was at war like these if i was at war like these niggas is i would be dressed i I would be having on loose shit sweats um vests under my shit uh, uh, the, the 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 pistol ready to go with proper with trained up with 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 two or three killers head on swivel. Like if I gotta go, if I know I, if I know niggas want to kill me like that, and I gotta go shopping, we coming like the president. We coming, we I mean we coming mini president. We coming at least we coming at least we coming at least governor level. We coming, we coming at least. I mean, if if I'm rich, we coming at least government. We, niggas need niggas need to take some notes from six nine out here. Six nine, what? Six nine, show you how to do it. He walking around this motherfucker like the motherfucking president, having fun everywhere, uh, out in the park, walking through the hood, playing in the park. Niggas ain't gonna do nothing when he walking around with the motherfucking seal. He got a fucking seal team with him. Niggas ain't gonna do nothing but anyway if i was these niggas in chicago man i'd be moving around this motherfucker on some tactical shit i'm talking about when i pull up the shop two three motherfuckers get out head swivel look around then they clear it and then i come through ready to go i'm ready to go too not chilling not you know what i'm saying get in there shop 
come out, swivel out. No, <laughs> no lingering, no, <clears throat> no nothing. Uh, bulletproof vehicles, uh, uh, tent, can't see in there. Um, if, if, if we like that, if, if, if niggas is coming into Rodeo Drive, Gold Coast, doing shootouts in prom daylight, okay, okay. Niggas need to start moving. Fuck all the tight pants and the and the jewelry. Fuck all of that. Fuck all of that. Fuck it. You might as well be like you. You might as well dress like a fucking soldier out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> niggas, <laughs> you take you niggas got on tight pants and shit, and they, they, hey, man. You can't get to the gun. You can't move. You can't roll. You can't drop. You can't do shit. You know what I'm saying? Man, hey, hey. Rest in peace, FGB Duck. FGB Duck. I mean, FBG Duck, my bad. FBG Duck, man. Go, go, man. Look up his interview, man. Check him out, man. That's a that's a fucking tragedy, man. You fucking Chicago niggas, man. Damn. Jesus. Oh, and then wait before I get off of that. The reason he really got killed is the diss song that he dropped. The diss song. Dead bitches. Dead bitches. And and I remember I, I I remember when it dropped. I was I was chilling in the crib and I was like, oh shit, Big Duck dropped some old new shit. Let's check it out. Pull it up. Dead bitches talking shit about dead niggas. Piss on graves. Nigga was screaming when he got shot. Niggas didn't do nothing after he got shot. Hey man, when I heard that song, I was like, "Oh, some niggas is gonna die. Some niggas is gonna die." I guess he, I, I, when I seen that, and Duck looked pretty confident, like, "Okay, I'm ready for whatever gonna come after this." I was like, "Wow." Now, one thing I want to say to you, Chicago niggas, man. Well, uh, you Chicago niggas, man. You all in this heavy disrespect for dead people, man. Um, on the real, man, once once a nigga dead, you win. Like, once, once the nigga dead, he's dead. You know what I'm saying? But I think niggas step into some bullshit when they get to saying cursing the dead, when you curse the dead, I think you bring, I think you bring unnecessary spiritual problems upon yourself. I think when you when you disrespect the dead heavily, you bring spiritual problems upon yourself. Cause I believe dead people can fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? I believe, especially evil ones. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of the motherfuckers that get killed is participating in the evil already. So this, these was already malevolent characters. And y'all niggas out here talking about niggas on demon time and I'm a demon, we demons. Hey, man, that's not really like no game, man. That's real shit, man. You know what I'm saying? It's It's... See, here's the thing. It's one thing to be a criminal. It's one thing to be like, okay, I got to be a criminal to feed my family, right? And in this process of feeding my family and being a criminal, I have to protect myself from the elements because we are operating outside of the framework of law enforcement. So I got to be my own law enforcement. 
So when another nigga come try to impinge on my on my money making, I got to deal with that a certain type of way. That is not evil. You understand me? But niggas get into dimensions of evil, of doing the evil things. You know what I'm saying? And niggas become evil. Niggas cross lines. See, you ain't got to be evil to be a criminal. You can be good and be a criminal. Just like you could be an evil policeman. You understand me? Just like it's evil police, you could be good and be a criminal. You ain't got to be a demon. You see what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, God, God is more powerful than the devil. So you don't, uh, you don't want to be evil. Because you're going to lose when you come up against good that's not afraid. You understand me? I'm just putting that out there for all you demon time motherfuckers who want to be demons. Because I'm going to tell you, man, I stand with the power of God, the most high. You know what I'm saying? 